Hey guys, another episode of Weaponology. I know I usually do these Monday, but I wanted to get out that uh, scream I had with X Factors minions. But um, yeah, this is the AN94. It's the last uh, video I have saved from Xbox. So it should be PC only from now on. Um, but let me just say right off the bat, this gun is amazing. I'd never used it before uh, the patch. So I don't know what it was like before patch. I'm pretty sure this clip is from after patch. And uh, it's it's a crazy powerful, crazy accurate gun. Um, I found out after playing with it so much after patch, it's really better if you use it on full auto and just two shot burst it yourself. Um, you get that, that good accuracy out of it, but it seems like you can just, uh, if they get up close, you're not completely useless if uh, you still have it on two shot burst because I found that happening a couple times like right there I actually did get it to full auto somehow before uh, I took my shots I don't know how I did it but uh, I got lucky but um, that would be the only downside is if you forget to put it on two shot burst um, up close you, you'll probably get killed and still up close even if you do have it full auto it's uh, it's still not going to beat most assault rifles at close range, uh, just because the rate of fire is so slow. Um, even though it does, it's a powerful gun and it, it does damage. It uh, it it doesn't have the fire rate to, to compete with the other uh, the other ones. So you'll most likely end up getting killed, which is never good. <clears throat> but um, yeah, let's get into the background of this. Um, it's Russian, obviously. Um, it was designed by Genetiv Nikonov, uh, Russian, I don't know, I can't pronounce his name properly, um, but it is manufactured by Ismash, <laughs> I, I don't know, but, um, it's been produced from 1994 till now, and, uh, it's been in service since 1997 to present, um, it's not the actual like main Russian uh, assault rifle for the Russian service, but uh, the AK-74M is now. So this is kind of like a, a backup or a special weapon for probably some special type of uh, military force. But um, this shoots a 5.45 by 39 millimeter round. Uh, I have not seen any other guns with that size cartridge, so I don't know if it's like a cartridge specially made for this or there's other guns out there, but uh, it's a weird size cartridge. Um, rate of fire, it's kind of surprised me actually. Uh, I don't know if this is completely true because it's kind of weird, but I can see how it is. Um, rate of fire for two round bursts if you keep it on that, it's 1800 rounds per minute, um, which I can understand because it two shot burst they come out really fast with the two shot burst and you can follow the shots up really fast so I guess it would just depend on uh, who was shooting it because then full auto is only 600 rounds per minute so like I said I don't know if that's completely true um, but I'm gonna have to go with it because obviously I don't really know um, but it takes standard AK-74 rounds uh, box magazines that is uh, and um, it has an actual special 60 round casket magazine I have not seen one uh, I don't think there's one on this website because it'd be kind of cool to see what that looks like no there's not uh, but yeah it's a great gun uh, I definitely I would definitely give it a go if you guys haven't yet because like I said it, it's good at long range with uh, heavy barrel and any type of sight um, just like I said keep it on full auto because you can still do two shot bursts with it pretty easily and control control your accuracy and stuff when it's on full auto because of the slow fire rate so you know that way when you, if someone gets up close you won't be completely completely uh, out outgunned um, you know you probably still won't kill them up close just because like I said the fire rate compared to most assault rifles is very bad uh, when it comes to close range, you need that that good fire rate, and this just doesn't do it. So, um, yeah, try it. You'll probably have some fun. I, I have fun when I use it because you can pretty much um, 
out snipe people with it if you're you're a good enough shot which is awesome by the way uh they will most likely get very angry and um it's it'll be funny because uh like i said it's it's a really accurate gun um i guess the only fault would be close range uh isn't that good with it so if you can get past the close range part and or figure out how to use it at close range uh, i don't know i just kind of spray it at the guy and hope it kills him at this point because i like i said i've used it a little bit more um since the last big patch that came out that fixed a lot of things and um i've been using it on computer messing around and uh like i was just trying a bunch of different guns on computer and uh, i like this so i kept using it every once in a while and just i can't seem to kill anybody at close range so it's more of a spray and pray and hope i kill them type thing but um that's it uh if you guys are watching this and you're not subscribed um check out my whole weaponology videos uh i'm up to 21 episodes i believe now i go over every gun in the game and i'm going to keep going over every gun in the game when they keep adding more um subscribe if you're not already uh but yeah so thanks for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow with an other game i i don't know what i'm playing yet i'll look into it a little bit tonight when uh i try to get a gameplay for it but uh yeah have a, a nice rest of the day and uh, have some fun playing some video games.